Hi, I'm Sarah Fuda with the Scott Fuda Home Team at Keller Williams Realty. Every month we do a video update of what's going on in the Denver and Colorado Springs real estate market. The market is still strong, and we're starting to see a shift with it balancing out a bit. All good things, and all things we've talked about in our past videos. After we send out our monthly e-newsletter and video, we get a lot of questions. So this month, we want to take the opportunity to share the answers to the many great questions we've been getting. If you are thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, you are sure to have questions, especially in a market as strong as ours here in Colorado. Hopefully these answers are helpful and inspire you to ask more questions. Will my house sell in the first weekend it's on the market? Your house definitely could sell in the first weekend, but the market is not the same as it was in 2016 and the beginning of 2017. It is not uncommon to see a house on the market for a few weekends before getting a strong offer. The higher the price of your home, the more likely it is to be on the market longer. Keep in mind, a healthy real estate market has homes available for 45 to 60 days before even going under contract. How long can I stay in my house after I sell it? Within a real estate transaction, you can negotiate with the buyer for you to stay in your home for up to 60 days after closing. Every situation is different, and as a seller, this option can be very helpful, especially when you're looking for a replacement home. And as a buyer, if you can offer this to the seller, it could give your offer a competitive advantage when up against multiple offers. Can I put an offer in on a house before I sell my current home? You can put an offer in on a home contingent on the sale of your current home, though the seller in most cases will want your home to be under contract when considering this option. Ultimately, when you go under contract on a home, you're taking that home off the market. If your home were not to sell in a timely manner, that impacts the seller's timeline, marketing window, and added costs for their home. We want to make it a win-win for all parties involved, so we advise our clients to wait until their home is under contract before finding their next home and putting an offer in. My lease is up in eight months. When should I start the process of looking for a home to purchase? We advise our clients who are currently in a lease to do these three things. First, talk to a lender. It's never too early to talk to a lender and see what your purchasing power is. Second, find out what the penalty would be to break your lease. If you find the perfect home before your lease is up, it might financially make sense to break your lease, or it might not. Last, make sure you have your pre-approval completed and you have a buyer consultation with an experienced realtor. This should happen about four months before your lease is up. It's a competitive market, and you want to make sure you have all your ducks in a row and the best real estate team supporting you. These are just a few of the questions we get asked consistently. We hope you've gotten some of the answers you were looking for, and if you have any other questions, we would love to answer them for you. Once again, I'm Sarah Fuda with the Scott Fuda Home Team, and we get you moving in the right direction. We look forward to being of service.